Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Into the Unknown. Today's episode is about probably the best known story about Isaac, which seems very brutal at first, but isn't as brutal as it sounds in the beginning. It is written in Genesis 22 and entitled The Sacrifice of Isaac. It is said that the sacrifice should happen on the top of a mountain. And when we look around here we can't see any mountains, maybe a few hills but nothing too big. So we will go into the right biome and find some nice mountains. This looks way better. These are some real mountains. I can already imagine the path going through the valley over here. And I think the mountains over there would be a great place to build. Yes, this looks nice. And I think with a few more details this should look really nice. As you can see I added a few bushes over here and some stones and got a little bit of terraforming but nothing too fancy. So it looks a little nicer. And now of course we need a path. Abraham needs a way to get up here and that's a great time for time lapse. As you can see, you can see the top of the mountain from this place, which is necessary as we can see in the story later. The path Abraham is going to take goes down the left side of this mountain as you can see over here and it ends right here where we are standing. And now it's time to fly back up to the mountain, clean everything up and prepare for the journey. And yes, this is a totally realistic way to place your boxes. I know I've seen a donkey around here. He has to be somewhere near. Oh, there he is. We are going to go on a nice journey. We are all settled up and packed. So let's go. I have to say there's a little problem once again. As you can see on this map, I started over here, went through the desert and ended up on the mountains over here. All with a donkey attached on the lead. And if you have tried to move a donkey, especially through rivers, it's tricky. And now you can see what the replay mod made of all these recordings. There's no donkey. In the last recording you can see the leash is attached and the donkey is standing there, but you can't see the donkey. I guess we have an invisible donkey now. Well, that happens. Let's hope that it works better with this sheep over here. We have to hide this sheep on the mountain top. I have already prepared one of the bushes for this, but I think as the end of the life of this sheep is approaching, you should get a nice view over here. So let's go up the path and show the sheep around. Yeah, I think this is nice. And we will tuck you in right over here. Now oh, don't look at me like that. I know you don't want to do this. But I need you for the story. There are only two steps of preparation remaining. One of which is the altar. So let's build this one real quick with a nice stone foundation and a campfire on top. Of course it shouldn't be lit yet. But I think we need more campfires for this. So here we are again with more campfires. This looks way better. But this one is facing the wrong way. Oh yeah this happens. Well. We will have three campfires then. Yeah, I think this looks fitting. We might as well take all these leaves with us because I just collected some wood, which is the last part of the story. And while I am collecting the leaves over here, 
using them right into the story. Genesis 22 The Sacrifice of Isaac After these things God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abram rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him, and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering, and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abram said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son, and he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went both of them together. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father, and he said, Here I am, my son. He said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamp for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamp for a burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built the altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram, caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place, The Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, On the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By my saith I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you, and I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of its enemies, and in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young men, and they arose and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham lived at Beersheba. Now after these things it was told to Abraham, Behold, Milcah has also borne children to your brother Nahor, us his firstborn, Buz his brother, Kemuel the father of Aram, Shezet, Hazo, Pildash, Yidlaf, and Bethuel. Bethuel fathered Rebekah. These eight Milcah bore to Nahor, Abraham's brother. Moreover, his concubine, whose name was Roma, bore Tiba, Gaham, Tahash, and Makar. That is the story of the sacrifice of Isaac, even though Isaac doesn't get sacrificed in the end. And I apologize for all the names I butchered in the end. And even though this was a shorter episode without a lot of big builds, I hope you enjoyed it anyway and had a lot of fun. And I will see you all in the next episode in one month again. Until we see each other, take care and goodbye.